to be racist. We still need to talk about commissioning. Believe me, commissions in the mainstream are risky commissions. There is a real uh, appetite, as I say, to take risks and to create those new genre-busting shows. We desperately need 10 o'clock series. There's no point in just trying to take an audience and cut it in half. The only person that's going to lose is the viewer. Genuinely radical stuff. I try not to think of hits in either a numbers or creative, critical sense. How do we find new faces? I think the first thing in, or, in order to create a global hit is, is absolutely not to look for a global hit. I don't think that some of the controversy that has followed you around has scared off certain commissioners. Oh yeah, but I think they're pretty scared anyway. I've woken up now because I've had a bit of fun with Sarah Cox. It's lovely to be back and I'm, I'm gutted I'm here for such a short time actually. I've been coming for the last 15 years so it doesn't feel like coming back, it just feels like August. Oscar nominated writer here, I think I'm the lucky one. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to the masterclass in Game of Thrones. Look at it now, it's fantastic, but on paper, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You had Des Lynam in that hot seat, and I'm guessing you were learning all the time from him. Yeah, I knew what I wanted to do, and I couldn't have had a, a sort of better mentor, if you like, than Des. Every single performance is going to be different. You know, the reactions are going to be different from no matter who you're performing to. incredible networking events. You also get to go and have a drink with everybody and socialise and network and chat about new ideas. All the different generations of the industry come together once a year. Uh, people like me get put on the spot but you know people starting out can come and learn and interact with each other. It's quite kind of reinvigorating if you're kind of a bit ground down by television you can come back and get kind of re-energised. I'm here to get the inspiration, maybe see what the trends are within the TV community. When you go to the selling festivals it's all about sort of tearing and you know making sure that it's very competitive. Edinburgh seems much more about the industry coming together and celebrating the industry as a whole. I think there is something really special about the TV festival. It's such a great mix of networking, parties and really interesting debate. I always really enjoy the network and ones to watch, which I've been to look at some of the workshops they've been doing, and I think that's such an important part of the festival. I think this is the, the best stepping stone I could have possibly hoped to end up, be lucky enough to end up on, and it's going to get me to where I want to be. I think you just help to show people that there's something special about you because you beat others to get onto the scheme and obviously you know you're very serious about trying to get into this industry. I hope that in the future it will be something that uh, I can look back on and see that's the point where my career changed. 500 people yeah. applied and I'm sitting here and I'm surrounded by amazing people and such talent. This TV festival is a wonderful showcase for the very best creative ideas, teams and skills that we have to offer today. At its best, it's where the most important debates begin about what we value and where we are heading next. So I urge you, let's have this debate and let's have it right now.